please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon children you love stories yes and then when we listen to stories you also want to be like that today we can do a story about i am friendly all right we will do some points so you must be a little friendly child growing up happy so i am friendly okay i am friendly i am friendly now what is friendly when you say friendly you say you are a cute helpful loving feeling caring for others okay when you have a friend you are a friend you say i am friendly then you must have other friends how will you behave to your friend you will be loving kind sharing caring thoughtful thinking of your friend and you collect lots of friends and when you are nice to your friend you collect lots of friends now i'll tell you a story about a little mouse and a big lion a wild animal in the forest one hot summer day the lion was sleeping under a huge tree lion had eaten and his stomach was full so he was sleeping the little mouse tiny little mouse he came out of the hole and he was running about having a tiny little game he and his brother the little mouse ran over the sleeping lion the lion was sleepy and the mouse ran over the lion the lion was very angry he roared with anger oh, he said who ran over me my sleep is disturbed and he wanted to he lifted his paws to catch the mouse the mouse said sorry lion please let me go you might need some help sometime and i'll be your friend i'll be helping you i am friendly little mouse the lion had a good laugh go away you little creature he said mouse quickly ran away into the hole days went by one day the little mouse was playing in the forest when he heard a loud sad roar of a lion so he went to see and he saw the same lion caught in a big hunter's net the mouse ran quickly the lion looked at the little mouse quickly he nibbled away the net and released the lion the lion felt ashamed big lion was saved by a little friendly mouse what is the name what is the moral of the story friend when you help a friend you get the friendliness help to you some day maybe by the same people or somebody else a friend in need is a friend a real friend indeed i'll tell you another story about a little ant tiny little ant ant bite you know ants bite you tiny little ant by mistake fell into 
the water. It was a little stream, a little river there, little land fell into the water and it was struggling to come out. There was a little white dove sitting on the branch of the tree. He looked down and he saw the little ant struggling in the water. The dove, he dropped a leaf and the leaf floated when close by the little ant. The little ant climbed onto the leaf and it was safe. So the dove was friendly to the little ant. Days passed by, ant was there crawling about. And this little dove came, he was sitting on a branch. And the ant looked at the dove smiling because the dove was kind to him, friendly, helpful to the little ant. Suddenly, the ant saw a hunter getting a aim to shoot the dove. The ant was tiny, he quickly went climbed on to the hunter's leg. The hunter took a name to shoot the dove. The little ant bit the hunter nicely. He bit him so hard, the hunter shot, but he missed the little dove. The little dove looked at the ant and flew away happily. A friend in need is a friend indeed. The dove was friendly to the little ant. The ant in time was friendly and helpful to the little dove. So I am friendly. I must be friendly. Having learned these two small stories, we too must create our own stories to be friendly little boy and girl. Now, when can you be friendly? When I am friendly. I am friendly when... Huh? I am with my friends at school. When are you friendly? When I am okay with my with my I am friendly when I am with my friends at school. With my friends with my friends at school. School, you have lots of friends. In your class, you have 40 friends, small friends, big friends. What must you be? You must be nice to them, friendly, helpful to them, smiling. So, you, I am friendly when? When I am with my friends, you are friendly to them. Then you are friendly to people who need your help. You need to be friendly with who? With people. With people who need your help. With people who need people who need your help. Your help. You may be tiny, but we can help in our own little way. So I am friendly when I am with my classmates at home, when I am helpful to people who need my help. Who are the people who need your help in your school, in the playground? Your friends, other classmates, other members of the class, your teacher will need, maybe some parent need, then the people who work in the school need. So, you are friendly with people who need your help. It can be your friend sitting next to you, need your help, need your book, maybe need a pencil, a eraser, or want to share a little sweet. So, you, I am friendly with my, when I am with my friends at home, school, when I am with people who need my help. It can be anybody. Who else will need the help in your home? In your home, neighbors maids, children, 
your cousins come they may need some help so you are friendly person when you give a helping hand to those who need it then what about the poor and the needy what about the poor and the needy i am friendly with the poor people with the poor who are less fortunate than you are poor and the needy and the need that means those who need you poor people how can you help them the poor and the needy at home the maids children the neighbors children you can give what you don't want you can share in the class who need your help someone didn't bring snack you can share your snack so with the poor and the needy with those who need things maybe sharing food sharing crayon sharing pencil sharing the things you don't want with others you may need you can use then with the new student in the class sometime between the year new students will come so what do you do you are friendly with who with the new classmates with the new classmates a new students who join the class new students who join your class throughout the year some child or the other join the class then you be friendly nice share the book tell the child girl or boy what lessons had be done what is the routine of the class routine of the school so you are a friendly child when newcomer comes to class you must learn to be friendly then you smile i am friendly when when i smile and share willingly so when are you a friendly person when are you a friendly child when i smile and share what i have willingly smile and share willingly share willingly not being told willingly you say so you become a friendly person ready to share the book ready to share a bit of your snack ready to share a little bit of water ready to share your crayons or pencils then you are a very friendly person then what about your neighbors cousins and friends who come are you friendly with them yes so i am friendly when i am friendly when when cousins neighbors friends come home when cousins you are friendly with when cousins friends and neighbors and neighbors come home so you are friendly with you are a friendly child with your cousins ha huh? when cousins come home you are a friendly child with the friends your classmates or other class mates come home you are a friendly child the neighbors children come home so you are a friendly person you are a friendly person when you are kind to your pet you have pets cats dogs birds what else you keep at home so you are friendly with with who with your pet you have pets at home so you are a friendly child when you are friendly gentle with your pets maybe a cat or a dog or a bird what do you do what how can you be friendly with your pet giving them water not frightening them giving them food talking to them playing with them little tricks with them with a little cat throw a ball 
if it's a little dog throw a throw a little stick and he'll go bring it spending time so you are a friendly child with when you are friend with your pet when you are kind with your pet so look at the points i've written for you a friend in need is a friend in need just like the ant and the dove be friend you also can be a good friend a little mouse was kind and friendly to the to the uh, to the big lion wild animal finally who helped the little mouse helped the mighty lion here i a little girl or a boy i am a friendly child when with my friends at school when i am nice to my friends at school classmates with the people who need my help they might be someone in the school who will need my help somebody fell down i need to give a helping hand i am a friendly child somebody wants to know a little nursery child wants to know where is the washroom you are helpful a someone in the class didn't bring the snack then you are a friendly child the poor the things you do not need giving to someone the poor and the needy who may use that for themselves you are a friendly person with the new student that come not making her feel sad making her feel happy one in the classroom then you are a friendly child then when you smile and share willingly what you have your pencil your book your water your snack whatever little you have you smile and share willingly then you are a friendly little girl or a boy your cousins come home friends and neighbors then you play with them you share the toys then you are a friendly child friendly girl a friendly boy and everybody will appreciate you for being so sweet finally you keep pets to feel good so you are kind you must be friendly with your pets how playing with them spending time giving them water giving them little bit of food taking them out to play running about so i am a friendly child i am friendly with all my classmates okay my classmates so i am friendly with all not one all my classmates okay all my classmates at school so when are you happy and friendly you are friendly with all your classmates and you feel so good and so happy so i am helpful so i am happy so i am a friendly person i am a friendly person i am friendly i am happy when you are friendly what happens to you i am friendly so i am happy so i am also helpful so i am friendly i am friendly i am a friendly person so i am helpful i am friendly so i am helpful so what happens to you so i am happy so i am happy so when can you be happy you i am happy when i am friendly i am happy when i am friendly so because i am friendly i am helpful and happy so i am a friendly child so i am helpful and i am happy then when else can you be friendly when i use the four magic words huh i am friendly when i use i use all the four you know the four magic words all the four magic words i am a friendly person 
when I play, when I am with all my classmates, when I am friendly with all my classmates, I am a friendly person, so I am helpful and so I am happy. Okay? Finally, I am a friendly person when I use the four magic words. What are they? Please, whenever you talk to your friends, because you are a friendly person, you must use the word please. Another word, sorry when you hurt your friend. Thank you when you receive something. Thank you. So, you are a friendly child when, when you use, when I use the four magic words, what are they? Please, when you need something from your friend, you are a friendly child. So, you must use please when you need something. Sorry, when you hurt somebody. Thank you, when your friend tells you something, gives you something. And finally, the fourth magic word, excuse me. What is the fourth one? Excuse me. And there is a lovely little song that I learned in the, in the school. Four magic words. So, the four magic words is very important for a friendly child like I am friendly. When I use the four magic words, when you need something, when you get something, when you hurt somebody. So, I am friendly, so I am helpful and so I am happy. So, you will always be a happy person because you are friendly. Your friendship with your friends, the way you speak to them, using all the magic words, naturally you will be a happy person because you are helpful. Because you, when you are friendly, you are helpful. When you are helpful, you are happy. So, you remain a happy boy and a happy. I am a friendly child. Because I am helpful and so I am happy. And I become a very happy person when I collect lots of friends. To collect lots of friends, what you need to do? Use four magic words. Please, sorry, thank you and excuse me. And there is a tiny little song that you can learn it. Okay? Now, there are four little magic words that can open any door with ease. One little word is thanks and the other little word is please. One little word is sorry and the other little word is excuse me. Sing it again. There are four little magic words that can open any door with ease. One little word is thanks and the other little word is please. One little word is sorry and the other little word is excuse me. You like it? So, a friendly child must learn to use the four little magic words.